Welcome to KTN Business. The government, in partnership with tourism industry players, is set to launch initiatives to improve the beach product to complement the recent charter incentives, which are expected to increase visitation to the Kenyan coast. The drive is part of a renewed focus on the sector to look for groundbreaking solutions to the sector's challenges and to demonstrate just how diverse tourism products are here in Kenya. Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala jumped out of a perfectly fine aircraft as he sought to attract adventure lovers and thrill seekers. KTN's Michael Karanja now reports. Since taking up the tourism docket in December 2015, Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala has been challenging industry players to look out of the box ideas to revive and market the struggling sector. And to prove his point, the CS took to the skies literally. <laughs> The skydive was the CS's unconventional challenge to promote the country's resurgent tourism industry, which has been blighted by years of tourist attacks and negative travel advisories. And rather than just tell tourists of what Kenya has to offer, the CS decided to lead by example and show them. I think there's adventure on the beach as well. And that's why I did this. So adventure is not just coming to the beach. Sometimes people can say it's boring, just sitting on the sun and, uh, and swimming. But the skydiving, sailing and many others. So this is one of the exciting things. Somebody should do it once in a lifetime. The 11,000 foot jump is part of the tourism marketing campaign to showcase Kenya's other tourism sectors offering. Traditionally, Kenya has been big on safari and beach tourism with little in between for adventure lovers and thrill seekers. And now the country appears to be diversifying tourism products to reach out to a wide array of visitors, particularly the younger demographic. The tourism sector has been taking a beating since the increased terror related attacks on the country and negative travel advisories. Mass cancellation of charter flights from the UK and elsewhere left the multi-billion shilling tourism industry bereft of business and made a big dent on the country's economy, with the sector shrinking for the last five quarters. Arrivals dropped by almost 20% last year, depriving Kenya of much needed foreign exchange and threatening the half million jobs in the country's broader hospitality industry. But the skydiving cabinet secretary believes the tide could be turning. Well, definitely we are going to see an upward trend. Uh, I'm optimistic. We've invested a lot. And uh, I think the positive image we have currently, we will ride on it. But we will want to create more positive uh, narrative stories about Kenya. And not about stories only, but it's about the reality. Look at this white sandy beach on Watam. Look at Diani. Yeah? Look at Mombasa. So a lot of things we have, but we need just to tie them up and be able to package them properly for the tourists. The CES is hoping the winds bring good fortune once again to the coastal belt and the entire tourism sector. Michael Karanja, KTN Business.